All right. Uh, yeah, man. I'll make this quick video to kind of give updates on me and uh, my uh, Cauldron Tower stuff, my RPG stuff, all that kind of good stuff, what I'm kind of up to, uh, what we'll happened to D&D &D class, stuff like that. And I, I don't know if I feel like I owe this to anybody, but it's just more of like, I'd rather just kind of tell people and be honest about it. Um, so, all right, so I'll talk about Cauldron Tower first real quick. That one's actually pretty easy. So uh, long story short, Cauldron Tower is like, uh, lost my partner, she, she bailed. Uh, actually, let me rephrase that. They bailed, um, and it was it wasn't anything against me or anything like that. It was it was just you know life happens stuff like that too. So you know I don't blame them. Um, and I tried to pick up some partners for other stuff like that. Just never, none of it. People just kind of floundered. They they fell off the map. Whatever it was, um, but I tried. And so simply put, like I really just don't have it in me to with the work level load to to do it anymore in terms of. Uh, like actual adventures and modules and stuff like that. That said, I really do actually enjoy doing the um, the clothing. Like I love doing the clothing. I love having that stuff printed up. I love helping support local businesses. I love packing up the pa the the uh, packages. I love going to the post office. The field post office know me. They always ask what the hell's called in tower, and I tell them, and they're you know part of the hat or whatever it is, and they're super cool. So actually, I'm gonna keep on doing the, the clothing. I think I'm gonna keep it to that. Um, cause I, what's crazy. I still have art. I still have art I haven't released. Um, and I have some in the works right now too. I have some cool stuff on the horizon, hoping for June. Um, Twitch, uh, I, so, uh, as you might be able to tell, I moved not too long ago. Uh, my wife and I bought a house and we're pretty stoked about it. We like it. It's great. Um, so we put out under a lot of stress. The seller was just, uh, jerking us around, very doing things that I would, that, we're not in his interest and we're just kind of, he's trying to win. And effectively he came up, they just kind of became abusive at a point, but we got through it. We're good. I'm ready to start streaming a little bit. Um, that said, my streams are going to, I'm going to skew my streams quite a bit. Um, I don't believe I'm going to be running any more games on stream, uh, unless I have a team. And so you put the reason why is because when I run under the eyes of the hosh, I do everything everything i host the zoom i set up the twitch stream it's my twitch stream i have no help from it um the the boards are all done by me everything's done by me and so they put running those games for like two hours hour and a half is just too stressful it, it's just too much for me um i love the players they're all great people i had a lot of fun but i gotta like i, I can't do it anymore um that said, though, uh, I talked to Tucker today. We're going to bring back Heavy Metal Dungeon Masters. I think we're going to do it on Tuesday nights at like 5.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Um, that one I really enjoyed because that was actually really easy to just kind of get the stream running and interact people. Um, it wasn't a juggling act where dungeon mastering and trying to run the stream simultaneously is just out of control. I, I can't do it. I just don't have the, I don't have the um, I just can't do it. It's too much. Um, that then brings me to the D&D &D class. So the D&D &D class actually is happening at UC Center right now. Uh, it's totally happening. It's totally, it's totally going forth. Um, but what's occurred is that we got an email from pretty high up, actually. I think it was a provost. Uh, so that's, that's like my boss's boss's boss or something like that, pretty high up. And they uh, said, they were really they want us to not use third party apps that are unauthorized we'll say um which is actually a really vague term to i might add uh that would involve students information so essentially put they feel that uh and they named twitch specifically uh they called that one out and basically said that they're they don't really give a rationale aside from they feel that it might that because it at the campus hasn't evaluated it they don't know how well protected students are what's funny is they'll let them use youtube like youtube's fine and i'm sitting there like youtube doesn't do anything that twitch doesn't do um it's just a different format um and what's funny is my students actually really like twitch like they a lot of lawsuits are just sitting there watch twitch that's their primary form of entertainment they understand the, the format i actually got some that have a stream and have bigger have pretty big followings actually so it's kind of you know so they there's an understanding of it and people liked it it was also a great way for me to bring in guests that i could get exposure um you know i was able to bring in some cool people last semester and it was super cool and then also because it was on twitch it got attention from some folks uh when um tanya jumped in the chat one time we were talking about motherlands and she saw it and just jumped on in and started ask, answering questions that was super cool that was an opportunity i didn't i didn't plan or expect or i mean it was oh my god it was, it was super cool and so but that's kind of gone i can't do that anymore uh, at least until they they authorize it um but they feel that like they're the worry is that students are given a 
like information that they shouldn't be given up uh, without their understanding and they're kind of like well they should read the t- terms of service or but the thing about twitch i liked was like you don't have to you don't have to have a twitch account to use twitch you can just watch it just raw and just come on in and watch it and whatever it is too uh, you may not be able to interact as much but you can certainly watch um so that, that that's kind of on the wayside and because of that uh that screwed, screwed my plans a lot for the semester i had to kind of I had to reschedule stuff like that while i was moving and so now we have our pacing and it's going fine What's funny is I got students that, that willingly signed up for Twitch uh, because I offered them access to D and D Beyond stuff that I have to share, and they ha- and one of the logins is Twitch, and so they signed up for Twitch accounts on their own to get to access to that um, because they don't want to buy the book, you know, and they don't want to pay for a player's handbook. I'm like, all right, well, here's a way to get it. Okay, cool, we'll, we'll do that. So that's that's their druthers. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of the trip of it. Um, and the the problem with it too is that there's no the the, the issue that's kind of holding over, holding over our heads is that they told us that we're not supposed to do this, but there's no explained consequence if we were to. There, there's no alter the alternative is like oh we'll have IT look at it, and it's like well IT's got enough on their plate as is like IT's underfunded, understaffed. Uh, they got bigger problems than my Twitch thing, so I decided to back off that and not not do that. Um, and uh, that kind of sucks because it was great. I had a lot of I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it was a good way to kind of keep the students engaged. Um, they love the emotes. They love the different format. It wasn't just Zoom meeting. It was something different. But you know, it's too bad. So, anyways, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. The class is going well though. Like right now, if you guys are curious, the class is going good. Uh, we're definitely really delved into dangerous games. Uh, we're hitting the real meat of that book right now. Excuse me. And then, um, so I'm pretty stoked about that all. Um, but yeah, and then, but yeah, with Cauldron Tower, I'm gonna that going back to that. I'm gonna back off the the trying to write stuff. I have thought about doing. I do have some stuff left over. I have some stuff. I have some outlines. I maybe should try to finish it up, or I may like I may talk to somebody about having them do it um, for me. Uh, get a ghostwriter or something like that to flush it out for me. And just have it formatted, pretty up, and everything. Um, and I do have another idea for like a, my house rule book, like do a book of my house rules. I have a lot of house rules, guys. Like, and I, every time I've shared a house rule, I've had people, I had James Hake, like, it was like, holy shit, like, he'd like my house rule about, um, uh, if you have resistance to damage, you don't have to concentration checks if you take that type of damage. And it's like, he was like, you know, it's a, it's a single sentence rule. He liked the rule a lot. Um, so I, I, you know, that, that I have like a, it's kind of messed up. I feel bad charging for that, but like, cause it's each, each one of my house rules is simply like maybe one to three sentences each. And I have like maybe like 10 of them, but it's like, man, like we, we really hammered out and have played with it a lot. And actually they, they work really well. So I thought about doing that. Um, uh, my, my, my main focus, so you guys are curious right now is, and is that I want to promote my, my paid games, um, so one of the big things that hit me from the pandemic was uh, I essentially just lost my job at the uh, the junior college. So I started my full-time job at UC. That's great. That's my primary income. That's the vast majority of my income. That's probably about 80% of it. And I was a librarian at the junior college. Um, they had disruptions a little bit before the pandemic hit. But then after the pandemic, I mean, we literally got 10 hours notice before we were told to not come back. They just canceled our contracts mid-semester. And uh, not even mid-semester, I mean, it was like in February. Um, I actually just looked at my uh, my W-2 from them for the year. I mean, it was it was dismal. Like, it was dismal. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I, I, you know, I lost some income on that. And that really that really hurt and held us back. Um, but uh, I... I Jumped on. I learned about start playing games through. Uh, I was one of the the charity things a few weeks. I, I played a game with Holly. That was a lot of fun. Um, Holly Conrad and I. I I like the format. Like they have a they have a really reasonable cut. They take um, the the sites easy to use. Um, it it has a few flaws, but like I mean, what doesn't? But it ain't that bad, and it works well. And um, so I started my festival in a kind game, which was a game I actually was was a game I ran a few years back for my, my home group, and then I ran it again this summer for some strangers or people not really strangers, people I knew online I never played with, and we had a blast. I thought maybe I can just do this, and I threw it out there, and people signed up. We're on session I think four now or something like that, three or four. Um, and then I decided also to run Wolf Lord Yola on there, so if people want to play Wolf Lord um, with me, they can play that. That's a little more advanced. Um, I have a private game coming up, which the crew requested a um, Lovecraftian Viking game, and I was like, I can do that. You can actually see like my, my Lovecraft collections over there of all this scholarship and everything. 
Um, and then I'm also excited to go into the Expanse role playing game. Um, that one holds kind of a one. I like the Expanse; it's a great show, it's a great book series, all that stuff. But also, the main thing was that uh, I like the age system and I like Green Ronin games a lot. I think they're a great company. I think they're actually one of the best RPG makers out there. Um, and I want to do some more indie. I want to do some sci-fi that wasn't fantasy. Um, so I like this stuff, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm focusing on those, those paid games, though. My problem with them is that, like, the beauty of, like, Twitch and everything, that was a great place to show off my, my talents or my skill. But I guess I still have those. I might try to request to, like, do a record a game or something like that and see what we can come up with. Maybe I'll do one of my home games. Um, maybe I have a big one next week. And then my home games are kicked off again, too. We played last weekend. Um, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll drop links and everything or whatever I can for my stuff on here. Um, but yeah, Cauldron Tower, I really want to focus on the apparel. I, I like doing it. Um, I like it because I support my, my buddy that has a local business. Um, his wife's my barber. They're super cool. Um, they got a family. I, I like that I support the post office doing it. I like that people love the gear. Um, I like that it's high quality and reasonably priced. Um, you know, there's a lot of other companies out there making like clothing for like you know that's kind of hardcore geek thing or whatever it is um but like it's, it's so overpriced and i know how much it costs to make that stuff and it, it it's like if you're charging like 40 bucks for a shirt you're essentially making about 35 dollars worth of profit on that shirt like it's, it's ridiculous um and so I, I really want to keep it down and make sure it's affordable and people can come into it. And that's that's what I think I'm going to stick with the Cauldron Tower. So uh, on the horizon, I ha if you would join my Patreon, uh, that's actually the place to see the previews. Um, I actually got art from my artist for the next shirts, and they're pretty dope. Uh, the Wolf Lord Church on schedule. My my guy just moved to, he just moved into a new location. Um, they're actually tearing down the building him and his wife were in. and uh, But they got a new location, which is super cool, and he should be up and running in two weeks. So I should be able to have the, the prints, um, the shirts printed up here by the end of March, which was in schedule. But the pre-orders are still going and everything like that, too. And I, I've been helping out. So if you like, I, I gave off a few gift certificates. Um, and Nora Ibrahim did a 5,000 thing, uh, whatever. So my dog's getting rowdy now. He's like, he wants to know who I'm talking to. He thinks something's up. Um, but his neighbor's just walking around. He does not. Hey, be cool. Lotto, be cool. Thank you. But that's what's up with me. Um, aside from that, it's just kind of self-doubts and everything about, about the community. Um, I just feel like I don't belong in it at times. I feel like I don't belong anywhere, honestly, at times. Um, my birthday's coming up here and you know it's it's a big milestone type thing and i'm just kind of like i don't know i feel like i should do more but then again everyone i have people tell me like satine phoenix specifically told me she thinks she says i do too much and i don't feel like i do and so that's kind of that kind of puts me in a weird spot and then i when i start doing too much i get depressed or whatever it is so i have to kind of figure that out um but i you know Otherwise not, I think I think I'm okay. I think I'll be good. Um, I'm gonna keep on listening to a bunch of music. I'm gonna keep on um, trying to paint miniatures. I actually look at paint miniatures next week. Uh, I got a new player and I got a new miniature for for him. Um, uh, it's actually a miniature I painted before, which I really like. So it'll be kind of fun to do a different style. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise not, I'm, I'm pretty good. And I'm looking forward to uh, hanging out on Twitter and Instagram and everything like that too. Looking forward to showing up new Cauldron Tower stuff like that. Uh, running new games, new players, um, all that cool stuff, kind of stepping it up too. So, um, but if anyone out there like like needs a player for a stream or wants to uh, come chat it up with Tucker and I on Heavy Metal Dungeon Masters on a Tuesday night, let me know, man. We, we're super cool about that. We love hearing from people and having a good time. Um, I gotta tell you, my favorite my favorite thing I've done stream wise in the last since, I, since I've been on Twitch was uh, the Top Twenty Countdown. Man, that was super cool. I promoted a lot of cool bands on there, gave links, people had a fun. Um, Tucker, it was cool to hear his reactions. Um, I had an absolute blast that stream, guys. That was one of my favorite streams. And so I think that's the kind of stuff I want to focus on. And I think that's that's crucial for me to focus on stuff that's going to be make me feel good, make me rewarding. So, all right, well, if you stood, if you stood this long for my 15 minute video, I appreciate it. Uh, I got a game to run here in about, uh, about six, a few, what am I about an hour, about an hour. Look forward to that, hanging out with some new folks and doing the thing. All right, catch you guys later, man, take it easy.